welcome to episode 17 of the Adornets podcast. I'm your host, Steph, also known as the Knitting Samurai on Ravelry and Instagram. You can also find me on Instagram as Adornet Steph. So, I got the initial stuff done. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> it's another on-the-go episode because life is crazy, and I keep thinking it's going to slow down, but it's not, and so I've just got to squeeze it in where I can. So the boys are with my parents. We're at the school for parent teacher conferences. Steve is doing some work and I thought I would take a minute and just share uh, my knitting progress since a week ago. So Thanksgiving was great. Um, we had tofurkey because we're vegetarians and I'm not a fan of tofurkey. <laughs> <laughs> if you like it, I, I don't know if I cook it wrong. It's like dry and rubbery. So um, we used to get the logs of corn, Q-U-O-R-N, much better. So if you have a vegetarian in your family that you buy something for, buy the corn instead of the tofurkey. <laughs> I couldn't find the corn. That's why I bought the tofurkey. So, okay, let's talk about knitting. Um, first, I wanted to... Um, Let's not talk about knitting first. Let's talk about prize drawings. So for the shop, every month, people post their pictures of their knitting with our stitch markers, our progress keepers on them, and use the hashtag adorn it. And there's prize drawings. So I was away, and I didn't check my phone ahead of time because last time was a little crazy. Um, so I've got winners for October and for November. So for October, Silver's Treats won for her socks and she was using just some markers. Uh, she was doing the um, Georgia On My Mind socks. It's a little pick me up. So Silver Luna, shoot me a PM and I will uh, give you a coupon code. So, and for November, the winner is, yes, not another hobby. <laughs> I love that. So that's Holly, and she was also working on some socks, and she had one of the Bazinga Progress Keepers, which is so funny. I made, I think I did 20 rounds of, 20 of those sets, and I gotta say, Leah must have bought 15 of them, <laughs> so somehow someone else, Holly, got one of them, unless Leah gifted it to Holly, which would be kind of funny, because uh, Leah's very generous. So that's it. That's that. Now let's talk about knitting. I left you with a little bit of a, oh my God, am I going to get these done for the end of the month last month? And the answer to that question is yes, I did. So first I banged out my cuffish mittens. Oh, in case you're wondering, this is a store-bought sweater. It's uh, from Zoo Lily. I think they still have them. It's like the, um, it's a tulip front with a crew neck. Not, not crew cowl. So if you want to go on Zoo Lily and look for it, it comes in lots of colors. I own it in three now. But okay, so I finished the Cuffish Mittens by Imagine Landscapes. Um, I added this bit of color work right here. Otherwise it would have been solid, but I wanted to check off one of my crafty bingo goals of a color work accessory. So I did a little color work in there. I love the mittens. She has, um, I want to say eight or nine different cuffs you can choose from, which is why it's called cuffish. And um, I messed up on this one. <laughs> to be honest, it's not perfect. And I really could rip it back, but it was my November interception project. So I just wanted to finish it. And this is the other one. I did the tip of the mitten correctly on this one. So, um, and the way she designed it is you don't, it doesn't matter. You don't have to knit a left and a right hand. Uh, the way the decreases go, it, the thumb can go either way. It's not dependent on that. So, and she does have like a thumb gusset on it. It's a very nice pattern. I, I recommend it. So I used Dreaming Color Classy. This is the Ruby, Ruby something, Ruby Traveler. I don't know. Um, colorway. It's, it's really a magenta pink color. It's kind of crazy looking on there. I had purchased this to knit a tulip sweater which I did knit and gift to a friend. Uh, I knit it when I was pregnant, I think for Roland, not knowing if I would have a boy or a girl. Then I never had a girl, so I gifted it to a fellow knitter who I knew would appreciate it. And then this, uh, the cuffs are more of a bulky weight, so that's why they, they do stand out a bit. And honestly, if I had been 
thinking the bulky weight yarn should really have been on the hands versus the worsted weight, but whatever. Um, so this is Mission Falls. It's discontinued. I don't know if Mission Falls is gone or if just this yarn weight is gone, but it is 1824 wool superwash. So they're both superwash wool. They're both very warm. I was laughing the other day. I can show you because they were in my coat. I put on my mittens that are my go-to mittens these days. And also, I think I have a color preference for uh, mittens here. <laughs> so these were, I think these are by Megan Williams and they've seen a bit of love. You can see they're pilling up a little bit, but they're still good. They're still good and they're very soft. I enjoy wearing them. So hopefully I will enjoy wearing these as well. So those are done. The other project that I needed to finish up for the end of the month was my DVD, Desert Vista Dye Works uh, Monthly Sock Club. So I started, I wanna say February, cause I definitely got something in on the first month. So maybe I only started in March in the first um, block. But anyways, so I, I didn't knit the whole year, but once I started, I didn't want to miss. <laughs> so at 11.42, while watching The Irishman on Netflix, very good. I um, was blown away by Joe Pesci's performance. He deserves an Oscar. He's He was just so perfect. Like, I don't know. I've never respected Joe Pesci. Like, I've never considered him a serious actor. I don't know. Maybe I need to rewatch Goodfellas. I was in high school when I watched it. But, yeah. Mm. So, and De Niro is awesome in everything he touches. But, um, Pesci was just perfect. So, and Al Pacino. Steve disagrees with me. I'm like, Al Pacino is like De Niro. He's always good. But Steve's like, no, he's not always good. But, I would say since the 90s, he's always good, which is when I started paying attention to him with, I think it was Scent of a Woman. Do you remember that one with Chris O'Donnell? I had such a crush on Chris O'Donnell. And you know what's funny? Such a crush in high school. I loved him so much, right? And then he got on that TV show, um, NCIS Los Angeles, I think. I don't think I've watched more than half an episode of that ever, which is funny. It's like I fell out of love with him. <laughs> but you know what else sorry sidetrack tangent um there are actors that I watch everything that they're in right and Emily Blunt is one I just love her Tom Cruise I know you're cringing but I just I I he makes movies I like I can't help it something about what he does he's we have the same taste you know Tom Hanks no Tom Cruise yes so, <laughs> but I've discovered that Olivia Woodman? Wild? Olivia? No. Woodman. She won last year for uh, The Favorite. Anyways, she's she's made my list of people that I watch everything they do. Because even going back to her Mitchell and Webb days when she was a comedian, I loved her then. I have Broadchurch. She was like, oh, such a heartbreaking heroine in that. And then The Favorite. And I just watched some of The Crown. And it's like, yes, 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 yes. A million times, yes. I like everything I see her in. So, um, yeah. Anyway, okay. So, <laughs> I'm a little all over the place. Sorry. So, yes, 11.42 p.m. I was casting off and posting pictures. I finished in time to be counted. Woo! And... November 30th is my birthday, so these were my new birthday socks. And you can see that last day of November, I knit, I finished the heel and went up the leg. I've worn these, so they're not not quite perfect looking on the blockers. They look a little saggy and sad. I'm trying to hold them in such a way. <laughs> I know, I'm such a goofus. But these are them. I used um, the stitch pattern from the Waffle Cowl by Kate Carter Evans. I took that stitch pattern and stuck it on these. And um, I really like the way it looks, the, the texture of the, the socks themselves versus stockinette or a normal two by two rib. But I did have to think. And in the round there, I think I said this, in the round there was thinking every row to make sure I was lining the stitches up right. On the flat, that pattern, there's no thinking. It's just always three by one, three by one, three by one. And it makes that happen. But in the round, you have to 
to pay attention to what you're doing. So there's that. Those are done. Yay! And I've worn them. And they were buying birthday socks. <laughs> so for the month of December, I had a whole list, and I think I posted it in the Downseller Studio, of things I want to do. So I want to knit a hat for Tristan with a Santa topper. I want to knit a hat for Steve uh, with the Rhinebeck yarn he picked out himself. I want to knit 25 hexes for my blanket to work on my crafty bingo. I want to, I need to knit two baby sweater sets for friends who are having, who, yes, they're both pregnant. And then after that, I need to knit two more, but that doesn't have to be December for friends that have already had the baby. So I missed the boat and they're more like acquaintances. So I might just send those later two hats. And I need to knit my Desert Vista Dye Work socks for the month. So I have lots of goals, lots of things on the table right now. And I'm not sure they'll all get accomplished, but they're all in my head. And I've made project pages to help keep track. Um, I don't know what the December interception is going to be, but that would be number seven. And in the, I'm talking about pigskin party right now and down cellar studios her net along which is so much fun <laughs> anyways um so I don't know December but the interception whip interception where you can finish some whips is this month and I'd really like to finish my sun soak shawl that I started it's beautiful it's gray it's um like silver and gold is the colors and it's different directionality and I think it's a cowl not a shawl I'm not sure. Um, but I started it this summer, past summer, during the Splash Pad party. And she's a sponsor for both. Sun Soaked Yarns is a sponsor for both. So I could get extra points. <laughs> Plus, it's a beautiful shawl. I really want to have it. So, um, okay. So those are my eight goals for the month. <laughs> and it's Christmas and it's December 6th. So... Uh, the month's pretty well along, and, and, and we have soccer four days a week, and the shop is, is going great, gangbusters, thanks guys, but it keeps me really busy right now. So, I bought metal straws, right, because I usually have, we use plastic, like hard plastic, um, that you don't throw away straws, but once in a while, I would use a throwaway straw that has a bendy neck, and I would feel bad for the turtles. I think it's the turtles that we worry about with these. We worry about the turtles with the plastic bags. I know that because they look like jellyfish. Anyways, um, so I got metal ones. So I, I feel like metal is probably more sanitary too. I mean, they're going through the dishwasher. And our dishwasher has a special spot just for straws. So it's like they knew what I needed. Okay, so the month is underway. And... I had cast on, I think I, I mentioned this, cast on some mindless socks to have for Thanksgiving. And I did, in fact, work on them during Thanksgiving. And this is extremely distracting, so I'll try and keep it down low so you can't see it. I have yarn barf, and I need to fix it. But um, this is the Manny Petty yarn. I think it's so funny. It's Lion Brand. So nice and inexpensive pair of socks. I think they were like $3.50 a skein. So two skeins, $7 for a pair of socks. I'll give these to, uh, I think I'm going to give them to um, my fellow soccer mom. She's, she's become a fun friend and we do all kinds of, and we do all kinds of uh, activities together because our our guys are good buddies so and there's my stitch marker you see it I think it's so cute he's glittery that's why it's hard to see him but um I've I had to stop myself from making all the Christmas uh marker sets for the shop because I just love all the different choices and, ugh, Christmas is so much fun so uh yeah so I, I made this for myself and I have more that I could make but I'm not right now. I haven't yet. So anyways, here it is. Big chunky stripes. Enjoyable. Um, for my Desert Vista Dye Works this month, I pulled out, grab bag, didn't look, 
well, kind of looked. Yeah, I definitely looked because I didn't want to do a pastel because most of mine are pastel and I just wasn't in a pastel place. So I pulled out Stranger Things and I posted on Instagram. If you're, it's maybe too late. I don't know. Maybe you haven't started yet. But if you're doing the knit along and you have Stranger Things, I'd love it if we could knit along together. I've got Aaron and Uli are both knitting along with the same colorway. And I always think that's fun to see how the socks turn out. So based on my last two pairs of DVD socks that I've knit for myself, I figured out that I, a standard pair of socks for me uses, oh shoot, I think 76 stripes. I'll tell, I'll do, redo the math. But so based on those 76 stripes and not ending on the last day of the month, uh, because that was way too stressful. I need to knit three stripes of my sock a day, three stripes on the heel, three stripes, wherever my progress is up to on the socks. So I, um, am counting stripes. So this is different. I've never knit a sock like this. I'm treating it kind of like an advent sock. I saw other people doing advents and I was jealous. I have an advent, but I wanted another one. I wanted sock advents for some reason. And I thought it would help push this through the month. So here is my Stranger Things. I'm doing a two by two rib. I know it's super exciting. I'm mid row. I have a Firefly Keeper on it and a Stranger Things. So every 10 rows, I'm putting a keeper. That's why this is so well decorated. <laughs> but the, um, this hot, it look, it's looking red. It's kind of magenta red, fuchsia. And that neon, it just reminds me, this port part right here reminds me of the um, neons in season three on at the mall. So very cute. There's a lady walking her dogs out here. She has a schnauzer and a uh, what's the black one? Scottish Terrier. And I talked to her, she went by and I talked to her and now she's coming back by. And I told her she needed a Westie and that'd be perfect. But those are like my three dream dogs right there. And a Frenchie, but I, I'm allergic to short hair dogs, so I can't do that. But I do love me some schnauzers. Um, yeah. So finally, I... <laughs> am doing the, I love Advents. Do you love Advents last year or the year before? Maybe it was the year before. I think it was. I did a Advent swap, which was <clears throat> um, through the Anders Mills podcast. And it was a lot of work to do, to put an Advent calendar together for someone else. But I loved what I got. <laughs> but um, she didn't do it the following year. So I didn't have to make the choice of do it again or not. Um, sorry, Steve's texting me. Uh, so I went ahead and signed up for Fiber Nymphs calendar because she did discounts. I think it was April. If you signed up in April, you got a discount on it. And I know I love her bounce face yarn. And I love Lisa's color sense. I always have. So I'm very thrilled with what I have received so far. So I have through day four, if you are doing the calendar and you're not that far along yet, don't look. So I, I'm including them in my hexagon blanket. I think it's by busy monkey, but I don't know. I'd have to look. Um, yeah. So this is the first day and each little day's yarn. I thought I was getting just enough to do a hex, which I think is 10 grams. So maybe the, the amounts are 20 grams. I'm not, I don't math. Sometimes I just don't want to do it, but I'm ending up with a little bit extra. So I think what I'm going to do is, oh, and when I, I'm knitting them, right, I'm wrapping the next days over the leftovers. So this will be the color progression because she, Lisa has a color progression through the month. So this will be that. And then I'm thinking I'll use the leftovers to knit a cowl or something. Like I want to get a second project in that honors the color theory that Lisa put into this. But I also bought it for my blanket. So I want to use them there too. So we'll see how it goes, right? I think I'll have enough for a cowl <clears throat> with the amount of leftovers I have. So this was the first day, which reminds me of a little bit of snow. This was the second day. 
And Lisa is definitely a purple girl, so I'm really not surprised. It's my little sand dog. He's cute. Love it. And this was day three. Another sand dog. Because I'm addicted to sand dog. I don't know why I'm whispering to you. Can you even hear me? Don't you do it. Okay, he doesn't want to show his face. He's a green sand dog. So there's that. I had on my crafty bingo to knit 25 of these. I mentioned that. So I have three. Oh, and here's day four. I'm in progress on it. So I had 25 for one square and 25 for another square. So that should put some good progress on this blanket. I reread my notes on what I had for the pattern and I wanted, I'm I had 110 last time I counted hexes, right? Because I have two bits. This is not the full thing. I got to attach the two to each other. Um, but I had 110 and I needed to go to 240 to make it queen size or 170 to make it twin. So it's definitely going to be more than a twin, but it's intended to be a snuggle blanket for the couch. So there you go. Oh, it's glorious, colorfulness. That's a fiber knife too. That's uh, something about a gnome. I'm finding that, like, I don't remember what this is. Some of them I don't remember. It's weird. But it's also, I know that Linda Plovover, Linda, so, mm, no, Melissa? I'm sorry. I don't remember her name. But she had gifted me a bunch of yarn too. So, like, this was nothing I ever knit. But this is into the world that I knit a baby bunny. Baby gift for. And this is some Baroque sock that I knit the socks for my mother-in-law so long ago, but sh this year is the year. So anyways, okay. I think that's all I have for you today. I am going to turn the car back on because it's getting kind of cold. And then we're going to go talk to Tristan's teacher and see what she has to say. I hope your December is going smashingly and you are feeling festive and holiday and enjoying all the vlogmases that are out there. I know Volum Vine is doing a vlogmas like everyday recording and um, she must knit. I think she's doing vlogmas but in chunks because it's not coming up every day. So if you're interested in vlog misses, go check them out. I'm not going to do it this year. Um, like I said, I'm too crazy. So, but I've loved chatting with you and sharing my knitting progress. And I will see you around on Instagram, on the uh, Adorn It group, on Ravelry, on the Downseller Studios group. I'm over there a lot. And yeah, so happy knitting. Mwah. Bye, y'all. Rolling. Um, it was nothing. Y your mom might say it was two seconds, but it's actually just like this. It's easy. Plus, you only get one once a year till you're 11. And you do lots of breathing, right? Yeah. That helped. Tristan? <laughs> okay, you're going to have to take Roland's word for it.